Blue Origin has been working on its next generation BE4 engine for many years now. Throughout its development and testing, there have been some delays pushing back its completion and application to multiple future launch vehicles. This being said, recently the company has been making some significant progress and are just about ready to test these engines for the first time on an official launch. Only a few weeks ago, we saw the delivery of one BE4 flight engine to United Launch Alliance's rocket factory in Decatur. Already installed on the rocket, the company only requires one more for its first Vulcan flight scheduled only months away. Fortunately, just yesterday, ULA CEO Tori Bruno provided an update on the second flight engine and its expected delivery. Specifically, he showed off the full duration testing of the flight engine and an estimate of when it should be delivered. This is very big news, as once this engine is delivered, ULA will have practically everything they need for final testing and the first launch. Here I will go more in depth into the recent update, the upcoming launch using BE4, what to expect in the future, and more. Earlier this month, we saw the first flight engine for Blue Origin delivered to United Launch Alliance. In relation to this, most recently on October 17th, Tori Bruno tweeted saying, This is a beautiful sight. One more BE-4 and he's off to the Cape. Here you can see the Vulcan with one BE-4 already installed just days after being delivered. Thankfully, Tori just revealed more information on that final engine needed. Specifically, yesterday Tori Bruno tweeted saying, Sorry about the delay. Twitter just could not handle a full four and a half minutes of this much sheer rocket glory. I had to edit it down. Here's the final acceptance test trim run for the Blue Origin BE-4 FE-1 engine, shortly on its way to join its twin in Decatur. This is very significant news as it confirms that this specific engine is operating as expected and should be sent over to the factory for installation very soon. Based on the fact that this specific engine test was a bit ago and Tori saying it will soon join its twin in Decatur, we can expect to see this engine delivered likely in a week or two. In the past few months, we've been provided various updates on both of these engines as they went through the development and testing process. For example, back in July of this year, Tori Bruno tweeted saying, Wow, you guys really do like seeing rocket engines. Okay, flight engine number one fully assembled on the left, number two almost done on the right. This included an image of the two flight engines that by now are fully complete and almost both delivered. As of right now, flight engine number two has already been delivered to ULA and is installed on Vulcan. The recent update from Tori shows flight engine number one. While in the past, flight engine number one was in the lead in terms of development and testing, it had to be sent back to the Kent factory for an unspecified issue to be corrected. This error led to flight engine number two taking the lead and being delivered first. Either way, the first flight engine seems to be working great now and is about to be delivered. This engine is one of the most powerful liquefied natural gas or LNG fueled rocket engines ever developed. Using an oxygen-rich stage combustion cycle, BE-4 is capable of producing 2400 kN or 550,000 pound force of thrust with deep throttle capability. In terms of its design, Blue Origin highlights that BE-4 was made from the beginning to be a medium-performing version of a high-performance architecture. A conscious design choice made to lower development risk while attempting to meet performance, schedule, and reusability requirements. The company's hardware-rich approach, multiple developmental units, and redundant test stands enable high test tempo and rapid learning all of which will be put to the test for the first time very soon. Now that we know more about the specific flight engines that ULA needs and when the last engine should be delivered, we can take a closer look at this launch and why it's so important for BE-4. Currently, United Launch Alliance is officially targeting the first quarter of 2023 for Vulcan's maiden flight. This launch is very important for Blue Origin because the Vulcan rocket relies on two BE-4 engines on its first stage for the majority of its thrust. In just months from now, we can expect to watch the BE-4 engine's first ever launch attempt. This test will provide a lot of invaluable information for the company as they continue to develop the engine. However, if something were to go wrong during the launch relating to these engines, it could be a major setback for the company in the BE-4 program, as they go back to the drawing board and figure out exactly what went wrong. On the other hand, if the launch goes perfectly, it could help reinforce BE-4's capabilities and give Blue Origin the confidence to speed up the production of these engines. Taking a closer look at this upcoming launch, ULA recently released more information on what to expect and some of the final preparation being made. Right now they are nearing completion of the development of the next generation Vulcan Centaur launch vehicle. We could not be more excited to be this close to seeing Vulcan lift off on its inaugural flight, said Tori Bruno. Vulcan's high energy design coupled with innovative technology provides one scalable system for all missions and will transform the future of space launch. They pointed out that once at the Cape, Vulcan will undergo a final series of tests to verify its readiness for flight, consisting of multiple tanking tests and a wet dress rehearsal, culminating in flight readiness firing in December, which will be the final step prior to launch. 
Following the successful final testing, Astrobotic and the other payloads will be installed on the launch vehicle. This has been an incredible journey to get to this point and I'm so proud of the development team, said Bruno. We look forward to the first flight as Vulcan offers all customers higher performance and greater affordability while continuing to deliver our unmatched reliability. The two LNG BE-4 engines on Vulcan's first stage will produce over half a million pounds of thrust at sea level during the launch. Blue Origin chose LNG because it is highly efficient, low cost, and widely available. Also, unlike kerosene, LNG can be used to self-pressurize its tank. Known as autogenous repressurization, this eliminates the need for costly and complex systems that draw on Earth's scarce helium reserves. The company points out that LNG also possesses clean combustion characteristics even at low throttle, simplifying engine reuse compared to kerosene fuels. However, these engines will not be the only things helping lift the Vulcan Centaur. Earlier this month, Tori Bruno tweeted saying, As requested by all the cool and fun-loving space people, Unboxing of a Northrop Grumman GEM 63XL solid rocket motor at the Cape for the Vulcan rocket in all of its 63 inch diameter, 120 foot glory. Specifically, Vulcan integrates up to six Northrop Grumman graphite epoxy motor or GEM 63XL solid rocket boosters. They are constructed out of a graphite epoxy composite with a throttle profile designed into the propellant grain. GEM solids supported the Delta II and Delta IV rockets, and the GEM 63 variant has already flown on ULA's Atlas V rocket. Looking further up the rocket, Vulcan will rely on two RL-10C engines to power its second stage. Logging an impressive record of nearly 400 successful flights and nearly 700 firings in space, RL-10 engines, manufactured by Aerojet Rocketdyne, harness the power of high-energy liquid hydrogen. The RL-10 boasts a precision control system and restart capability to accurately place payloads into orbit. The company points out that access to orbit remains a critical hurdle for many missions. However, ULA is working to provide flexible and cost-effective multi-manifest solutions to overcome this barrier. With multi-manifest, two or more spacecraft are integrated on a launch vehicle using available performance and volume margin that would otherwise go unused, optimizing mass to orbit and enabling missions. Multi-manifest on a Vulcan rocket provides a highly reliable and schedule certain launch solution for spacecraft ranging from CubeSats to SmallSats and beyond. Combine this with its first stage engines and configurable core stage boosters, and you have a very unique launch vehicle meant to become ULA's future workhorse. While the BE-4 engine has had some ups and downs throughout its long history, right now it's closer than ever to a very important milestone. The company has continued to work on the engine for many months and is trying to ensure they deliver ULA with a fully capable next generation engine. Blue Origin has been developing and testing the BE-4 engine for many years now. This year especially, we've seen an increase in this process as they try their hardest to deliver United Launch Alliance with two flight-ready engines. As of right now, this launch and important test is scheduled just a few months away in the first quarter of 2023. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.